Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a cloning effect in Sony Vegas Pro 12. So this is a very simple effect. All you need to do is take a clip of yourself on one side of the video and a clip of yourself on the other side of the video. <laughs> yeah, pretty much like that. Then you go into Sony Vegas. Okay, so now we're in Sony Vegas, and as you can see, I already have both my clips dragged into the timeline here. So what you want to do first, well, okay, I have one clip of myself on one side of the couch, and a clip of myself on the other side of the couch. So what you want to do first, is you want to right click, and go insert video track. And if you want the audio for both of the clips, you right click on the bottom audio track and insert audio track, then drag the top one back up to the normal track. Then, let's go back up to the video track, drag it into the next track, and drag it over onto m on top of my other clip. So, this is kind of worthless, it just cuts to this clip, but to make this actually a cloning effect, let's go right here, go to the event pan crop, go to position, it won't be on mask, and click mask it won't be on mask at the beginning select the anchor creation tool and mask out where your cloned character will be without touching the person who's already there in the first place or should be already there in the first place so I'm gonna select the normal edit tool select this mask drag it out a bit and then there we go Okay, so as you can see, there's a little bit of a, you can see the difference there, and that's kind of annoying, so you, path won't be extended, or it won't be by default at least, but extend that, go to feather type, click it, make it both, and make the feather type, let's say, 20, there, and that makes it blur together really well. This looks pretty good, it just, but you can see the how the clip changes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to fix that, drag this clip back, and make it fade. I really wish Premiere Pro had that fading thing. That would be so useful if you could just drag this to fade. Anyway, just fade this out, and then he just comes in. It just blends in. You don't really notice it that well. Well, okay, you notice it, but not that much, and it looks pretty good anyway and the best thing for a cloning effect is to just make it so so that there aren't any problems like this see this couch is a cushion and when you sit on a cushion you push it down I guess you could say um, and when you do that it makes an indention like here and then you can see the difference I don't know why I'm talking about this. This is kind of creepy. Anyway, that's how you do a cloning effect in Sony Vegas. Also, by the way, for color correction, you can just drag a color. You can color correct the clip to make it match the other one if they're different in some other way. So, but that's pretty much it. You can do this for anything, and it's a lot easier if you use a green screen, by the way. But I'm rambling on too long here. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.